falling hurts. But falling from a ladder hurts a whole lot more. It can result in serious injury and even death. Falls from a height are one of the leading causes of construction accidents. Of all falls from a height, 20% are ladder falls. As a construction professional, you should already know how to avoid and control the risk of falling. Since the risks can have serious consequences, and there are several ways to prevent them, ladder falls are considered zero tolerance. A ladder should be mainly used as a means of access. You should start by properly planning your job site. If you have to work at a height, it's always best to use an elevating device or scaffolding. But if you have to use a ladder, it must be set up properly. It should be placed on a stable surface. If the ground is uneven, the anti-slip feet should be flipped up to ensure the ladder digs into the ground. The angle of incline must comply with regulations. To achieve the proper angle, place the base at a horizontal distance that is between one quarter and one third the height. The top of the ladder must rest on both side rails, extend well beyond the upper landing, and be securely fastened. Nails simply won't cut it. If using a ladder as a means of access, you must never carry anything in your hands when climbing up and down. This way, you can maintain three-point contact at all times. If any materials need to be brought up, you must use an appropriate elevating device. Occasionally, a ladder can be used as a workstation for short-term tasks. When working, don't overreach or put yourself off balance. Place the ladder as close as possible to the area you need to reach. This way, you can keep your body between the two uprights. If the workstation is more than three meters high, you should wear a harness, but you might not always be able to secure it to an anchor point. In this case, you need to ask yourself whether a ladder is the best equipment for the job. Remember, a ladder should only ever be used for the tasks for which it was designed. Being a professional is all about proper planning, because that's how you finish a job safely. And remember, APCSQ advisors are always here to help.